We are here to celebrate the completion of the first survey of the entire human genome. Without a doubt, this is the most important, most wondrous map ever produced by humankind. In 2003, we definitely celebrated a finished genome. However, the public was unaware at the time that there were hundreds of millions of bases that we couldn't access at that point. And so because of that, I would argue perhaps some of the most biologically important parts of our genome um, were largely ignored for the past two decades. These were the centromeres. People think about chromosomes as being an X. These are the parts in the middle that hold the X together. They have a really important biological function. Every time your cell divides, you have to um, connect to these sites and pull your chromosomes away. And so if you have an accident or some type of genomic instability in these regions, it can cause aneuploidy, cancers, birth defects, things of that nature. But we really didn't know what sequences existed in these regions before because they were too hard to sequence and put together. Also, chromosome 13, 14, 15, 21, and 22 were completely off of our map. And these contained hundreds of genes which could have important biological functions in our understanding of human disease. And then finally, there are large gaps even in the arms of our chromosomes that contain um, gene family expansions and things that we call segmental duplications that have been shown to be very important for understanding of clinical genetics and genomics and even population and evolutionary genetics. When we had the fully sequenced and complete genome, it was thrilling, something I had been looking forward to my entire career, so in that way it was very fulfilling. Um, I think it's kind of like any explorer when you see new land or new maps for the first time. It's more than just seeing it, there's kind of a promise there of, of new discoveries that will be made in that landscape. With the completion of this one genome, it's easy to think that we've reached the end. Um, that this is really a place for us all to sign our names and to you know, throw the final party and say it's done. But the truth of the matter is that this is just one more individual who happens to be of European descent. And where we'd like to go is to have a whole panel of complete reference assemblies from a collection of humanity, really representing highly diverse individuals and then understanding all of the variation that makes us human. And that will really bring into light a lot of these biological and clinical and evolutionary questions that come along with understanding the complete and finished genome.